Whether you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, I'm gonna show you just in a few simple steps how to easily remove any viruses or malware that you have on your PC. So let's jump in. All right, I am on Windows 11, but this method still works with Windows 10. Now our main focus is removing any viruses or malware that's on our computer, but this also as a bonus is gonna clean up a lot of extra files that is gonna just help your computer run a little more smoothly anyway. So first we're just gonna head over to the search box down at the bottom. And we're going to start t typing in clean manager. All right, clean. And then you'll see disk cleanup. Click on that. And this will pop up. And you just want to run this on your primary hard drive. Most of the cases, it's the C drive. But whatever drive that is for you, just select that. And then it's going to pop up with this window here. I'm showing you all the sections that it's looking at on the hard drive to kind of clean up. And what we want to do is we just want to go through and check all of these boxes here. And then all you need to do is click on OK. And then next, you just wanna click on this button here that's clean up system files. And you'll just need to select your C drive again. And you have a little progress bar that's gonna be moving through here. And then you just wanna repeat the process. So we're just gonna click through all of these buttons here. It gives you a little bit of a estimate here of how much space you're gonna free up by doing this. Click on all of these. And in my case, I'm gonna free up seven gigabyte just by cleaning up these files that I don't need anymore. Then you're gonna click on okay. It's gonna warn you that this is gonna permanently delete all of these files. We wanna do that. And then again, you'll have a little progress bar that's gonna come up. And depending on the size of the uh, amount of files that you're cleaning up, this could take different amounts of time. So you just wait for that to finish. And you can see once that's done, that box will disappear. And now you've got all your junk files removed. Next, we're just gonna hit the Windows button and R on our keyboard, and that's gonna bring up your run box here. And what we wanna type in here is temp, T-E-M-P, and click OK. And in this folder, we're just gonna select all these files and delete, it's gonna delete all those. Next, we wanna do Windows R again, and this time we're gonna put a percentage sign at the beginning and end of temp to open up a different folder. And once again, we're just gonna select all of these, scroll all the way down, whole lot of junk in there, and select all of those and delete again. And sometimes it'll pop up with this dialog box saying that something is in use, so it can't delete that. And what you wanna do is just stop that program from running. So like right now, that is Grammarly. So I just wanna quit Grammarly, close that out and then click try again, and then there's a file that's no longer lo located on there, so we'll just skip that. We'll do that for all of those. So if there's any files that it can't find, obviously we're not concerned about those, so we're just gonna skip all those. Again, there's like 1,500 files here that's being deleted, so we're just gonna let those all get removed. And so some of these files are currently being used as I'm screen recording and have my web interface open, so for you, if you have everything closed on your computer, you should be able to delete all of those. But we got a good chunk of them. Next, we're gonna do the Windows R button once again. And this time we're gonna type in prefetch, click OK. And that's gonna open this up and same thing. We're just gonna select all of these. You can also hit Control A and select all of them and then just click delete. And again, there's a few files that I have still open. So we're just gonna skip that and there you go. Now we've got all those removed. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run Microsoft's malicious software removal tool, and this is totally free. So what we're gonna do is, once again, in the search box, we're gonna type in MRT, press enter, and when this comes up, you just wanna hit next. And what we wanna do is click on full scan. So it takes a little bit longer to do that. If you're pressed for time, you can always do the quick scan, but for me, if you have the time, do the full scan, click next. And so this is just searching your whole computer for any malicious software that might have got installed or from an email attachment or something that, that's in there. And it's gonna detect any of that and remove it. While that's running, we're gonna work on removing any malware that's on the computer. So to do that, we're gonna go over to the website malwarebytes.com. I'll also include a link in the description so that you can be able to access it that way. And it's a free download, so we're just gonna click on free antivirus download. Take a second to get started. We're gonna open that up. You can also secure your browser. We're gonna skip that for now. Take a few seconds to install here. There we go, and then it'll open up pretty simple software, and we just wanna click on scan now, and it's gonna run through, making sure everything's up to date to start with. 
Okay, once that finishes scanning, it'll pop up at the screen like this. You can see all the files there. I had seven items that are suspicious, so they suggest to quarantine those. So you just click on the quarantine and then click next. And then you have the option to add in your email so it can check your digital footprint. I'm just gonna click skip, skip. And then they have the full version that you can purchase there. And so I'm just gonna close this out, close this out. And then you can see here, my malicious software removal is still running. So far, nothing it has found as is infected, but it'll take a little bit to get that run through. So just let that run. And once that finishes, then you just need to reboot your computer. And one, you'll notice your computer should run faster and any viruses or malware will have been removed from your computer. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.